Hey guys, it's Captain Abzafi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an alien cookie out of palmer clay. So the materials we're going to need is a tan colored clay, like tan or beige colored clay, TLS, which is translucent liquid sculpey. It's very important that you have that for this. You're going to need two chalk pastels. One is black, and the other one can be any color um, for your alien, as long as it's not black or like dark gray, because that wouldn't be too well. And then you're gonna need a surface for your TLS to mix on. You're gonna need an X-Acto knife, but blades work just as well. You're gonna need something to texture with. So right here I have these foamy, foamy things that I got with my chalk pastels, but you can also use a tin foil ball and a toothbrush. Um, I bet there's many more ways, but that is all I know how to do for texturing right now. You're also gonna need a teardrop shape cookie cutter. You're also, you don't need to have this, but eye pins and head pins are a great thing to have with you for this. You are going to need something to mix with. I have this toothpick, and by mix with, I mean the TLS like, to mix the colors and also to apply it with. So you're going to take your surface for the TLS. You're going to want to put a big, or well not big, but a big enough dot and a smaller one of TLS. Okay, and now you're going to take your alien, whatever color you want your alien to be, and put it on the bigger drop of TLS. And then take your black and put it on the smaller drop. And now you're just gonna wanna mix it in. Okay, now you can set that aside. And you're going to take your tan clay, or again, beige, whatever you're using, and just take a small portion of it, and around this size is a good size to use, unless you want to make it uh, smaller or bigger, it doesn't matter, but I like to use around this size. And you're just going to want to condition it. And you're just going to want to make it not exactly flat, you're going to want to have a little thickness to it, just Make sure it's flat enough that you can put the cookie cutter on it and it gets, the cookie cutter can fit inside of it without going over the edges. And I prefer, like I recommend saving the extra clay around it for another project. And right now is the time if you have an eye pin or head pin to put it in because if you have the TLS on it then it's probably going to smear and everything it's probably gonna get all over your fingers so I would recommend to do that but you can see right now that I don't have the eye in because I messed up and I had to redo it so yeah but what I like to do is for the pointy part of the teardrop you can smooth that out and make it um, smaller and more round and then I'm just going to texture it and you should texture it as well at this point and don't like texture it too much because it could damage it, make it flatter. Oh, and if you want to see a better example of how it looks textured, here it is. But this is the final pro product and glazed. But yeah, it should still look something like this. And now you're going to bring your TLS back and you're going to take the color you want your alien to be, which is the bigger drop of TLS. And you're just gonna smear it around, well not smear it, but you're gonna like spread it around the top. But I like to, okay, for the top, I like to keep the edges showing just for a more realistic look. And so that when you move it, cause you're gonna have to pick it up to put it into like a tray or whatever for the oven and stuff like that. And yeah, again, for the realistic look. And make sure to take your time with this because it's very, very easy to smudge. I smudged it twice. Um, in the process of making this. Oh, and the way I make, oh yeah, here's the purple one that I made, but the way I make the faces is I like to take the black and I 
For the eyes, I like to start sort of near the center, and but a little away from it. And if you're on the left, I like to slant upwards to the left. And if you're on the right, slant upwards to the right. And then I like to make two small dots for the nostrils. And then if you kind of try to make a smiley face, either you'll get a smiley face or you'll get the thing that I had, which is just this round um, like oval shape for the mouth. But here I am doing it again with the green alien. In my case, I'm using green, so you can always go back with the green and fix up any areas, but I'm not like fully sure that for you it's going to work out because it might just smear it even more, so yeah. So here are how they look. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Craft Taffy Taffy. I hope you enjoy making your alien cookie, and here are just some extra pictures that I took. So yeah, I just have a case notes for a petal or the middle, the pollen part. Okay, of the flower. Okay, and so here's the red one. How it turned out, the nose is actually kind of big. Um, here's the orange one. The yellow. Which kind of looks orange on camera, so yeah. Here is the green. My favorite is the blue, at least for the camera, like picture part, because it looks so cool. The purple. And believe it or not, pink. Well, it kind of looks pink. It's just, to me, it looked red. Okay, sorry for like the babbling and stuff. Okay, and then here is again, like texturing. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye!